Hello, we're here on Sonic Bowl. I'm gonna show you how this level editor works. So, let's go over some things. Ground, you know, it's ground. Oops, kind of buggy, you know, they're buggy. But they're slopes. You can have steep or not steep. And they can provide some interesting terrain. Pipes have something special, but you know they're pipes. They work how you how you know them. So then, all right, we have doors, which are also like pipes. I'll explain them. Trees are well trees, they tile down to the bottom of the level. But they act like trees. You got spring, which is just regular, and then you got the green spring which bounces you up higher and can take you to other places. This is also for the green spring, which is also for that. Flagpoles, you know, flagpoles. Finish the level. Checkpoints they activate ring. They activate rings which you jump through, and then you can activate like special stages or red rings, which are red coins. I'm sorry, which are right here. I'm just gonna spot a few. There's Delta coins. Item boxes. And then over here you got item spawner, which just spawns an item. Tokens, which are used for doors. Characters have air moves in this game, so this is just refreshing them. Platforms can do a plethora of things. They can go down, they can go up, they could be a cloud that goes that way. They could be a donut platform. Bridges, they are platforms you can jump through. Water is water. Blocks they uh, they become solid when you die. Switch block on and off switch. If you've never played Mario Maker 2, it switches between the red and blue blocks. So like if I were to hit it, the blue blocks would be solid and the red ones would not. Enemies work how you expect. Red piranhas are lit are aren't as shy and they'll spawn if you're near them. No matter what, Green, regular piranhas. They're, they're just regular piranhas. You go, you got Hammer Brothers, you got Bowser. Uh, you know, you got this thing, just falls on you. If you want to have flying fish in your levels, put this out of water and then they start flying up. Bullet Bills, Bullet Spawner, you can just like have a onslaught of Bullet Bills. This cuts them off. So you can have them stop spawning at a certain point. Axes, castle bridges. These all work how you expect. You can have... If they are don't have a level in their command, then they essentially just free the princess. Stone blocks, because fortresses. These two work hand in hand. Like, this is like decoration, and this is like how you use them. Barrier collision. You can have text, one way walls, textures anywhere. Yoshi's Island style text. Now, up here, let's go over the pipes and stuff. So, I am going to name you F. And you go to FF. Which is this door. So now they have an arrow showing that this door goes to that door. And I'm going to have pipe. I'm going to call it AA. And over here, regions. Oh yeah. You can have the objects look like whatever you want. Background, music. I have this be a, so you're gonna go A, meaning that it teleports to this region.
if you select on the item box, you can have whatever you want in them. You can make them brick or invisible. Visible. In Green Springs, what they do? Okay, so if I'm gonna call this BB, so its target is BB, and this will be BB. Wait, BB. Yeah, this will have a target, and this is for the drop-in marker. You don't have to have one. However, if you do, you gotta name the target, and then it'll go to that. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna call it S. This target is S. No, wait, got S. That's how do those work. This is to like draw the things, you know, put them in the level. This could either fill the whole thing with it, or you could just like draw a square and then that fills it up. Deception can make it whatever, like all these things, you can have it be that. Although most of them are for the day. Finales for castle. I think. I have a, actually, no, I want to have a city. Alrighty. So as you saw, there's many things you can do in the level editor, right? As you see, I'm in the main game. Crazy, right? I know. Uh, I'm gonna play as I'm gonna play as my boy Tails. Now, here's something interesting. After you make your level, y you see this one normally be here. As you see, I made my own custom icon with my own custom level. And, um, these are my custom levels, and in fact, I can play them in the actual game. And I've tried this out, and you can have multiplayer on them, too. Okay, great, I just got her, but like... Everything works. The doors, because I named them, had them targets. Like, yeah, everything here works. Like, how you think it would... Now, the question is, how do you do this? How do you do this? You may be wondering, how, how do I play these custom levels? Well, there's a file called skins, if you were to open it up. And, you should definitely make a folder. And I recommend making an icon with whatever's or software you have but how it works is you put the folder in skins and then there'll be more folders one of them being level put level in there and then no put to put 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 whatever you call your folder for your custom levels into level and then, you'll be there once you open the game up, and you go to the main mode, and just like, go to game selection. If you didn't make an icon, you'll probably see the name of your folder in a slash. And then you'll see whatever levels you've made. That's how it works. I just, and I died. Now, the flagpoles? How they work is you select, like, because the doors and the pipes work the same way. I'm just gonna show that off right now. So, level editor. And so, how that works. So the pipes, you know, you go here. Here's a example of 
how how it works here. As you see, I used my select buddy. Use my select buddy here to change the exception and the properties of some of the items. Oh no, okay, that's good. As you can see, since I set the target, the door works. And I took a platform and changed its properties and now it's a cloud. I also used the secret boundary thing to make it so you don't see that part until you get down there. Here. Can I have a better way of showing this? So I'm just gonna choose Knuckles. Right, I choose Knuckles. Hey, no. I go down here, select my custom levels. I'm gonna go to this one. You can name the level something different, but the file name has to be the same. So as you see this door right here, you know? If I were to open it... It takes me to a different level. Oh yeah, it doesn't have to be just the flagpole or the... The, the princess retainer. In fact, as long as you know how to use the select button, you're kind of good. And this is like how I made my levels. So yeah, I hope I hope you learned something from this.